uh, guys uh, do not start the recording at your end because uh, my recording get cancelled right so uh, you know we have only one record so that's why please do not record at your end. yeah so basically we are using the curl right so let's suppose uh, minus x minus x sorry can you mute yourself so we are using the curl and minus x uh, for the method which method we are using get method put method patch method right or delete method so we are using um, suppose get right and then we have to uh, copy the uh, let me copy the uh, url so let's suppose this one i want right so let me paste here curl is basically making the con uh, connection between the server and the client minus x is for the method which method you want to use get method put method patch method and the url the protocol base url and the resource right so if i hit that, so you can see whatever the data in your uh, you know uh, server right uh, with person database person resource so all data get fed let's suppose you want uh, id1 id1 data right no you don't want all the data from the person object right you want only one in that case you have to pass one and you can see it display only one data right so if you are using you know a uh, post method so you have to change here and you have to pass all the things right so that's why we are not running the cmd you are not connecting the server using the cmd because it's too much complex to write uh the cmd command actually so this thing was very easy but in the case of post and put we are passing the request as well right we are header also we are authorization also we are authentication also right so we have to write all the things here right even i have not used uh in my real time project right so but so yeah, because how we, how we so can set up how we can set up that uh, database that is the question sorry come again hum isko kis tarah se set up karenge apne apne host ko kaise set up karenge that question is not related to that one this answer actually mai uh, she asked me yesterday that how we can run our postman you know command how we can run the api in the cmd so this is the one way to connect but regarding the to create the json server we have the different method nahi to hum ye padh hum ye padhenge ki humne json server ko kis tarah se build karna hai like that is a part of okay there is no uh, issue there is only two command that we already but why the two command and we run on the system it will install already so so uh, yeah varna so this is the way to you know uh, execute uh, your apis actually but in the real time uh, we are not uh, running the you know uh, we are not uh, hitting the api using the command prompt because it's uh, too much complexity to write uh, you know to write all the things because uh, to connect with the server we are we require in the real time authorization header body pre request right so we can't write all the things here it will be you know uh, 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 quite complex but in the case of get we don't require you know uh, the request body and other thing it's like simple command 
so that's why we get the data easily but in the case of put patch or some other method you have to write all the things after then you will get the data right okay so in this class today uh, we'll learn uh, everyone join give me a second guys this is called who has not joined So uh, in this class, uh, we will discuss like how we can map the requirement with the postman, how we can create the request, right, by mapping your requirement, right. So we'll discuss like simple uh, requirement, we'll take very simple requirement and we'll try to map in the postman. And after then we'll, uh, you know, move to some complex requirement and then we will also try that one. Right. So let's get start. So one request. So uh, please complete my topic. And after then you can ask any question if you have any doubt. Right. So yeah. So let's come to the one agile section. I know uh, you all are aware about the agile process and uh, stuff. Right. So what happened in the real time? Uh, your product owner, your business analyst. Right communicating with the client that uh, what's your requirement is, right? So suppose the client asking, I want to create the employee object in his, uh, you know, uh, server, right? He want to create the employee object. He want to, you know, uh, delete the employee object. He want to fetch the employee object like the CRUD operation he want basically. The requirement is for CRUD operation for the employee object. Right now, the business analyst or PO, right? It depends on your, you know, uh, company to company, right? So they are not purely following the agile, but this is the way actually. So business analyst or PO uh, will get the requirement from the client, gather the requirement from the client, then he create one document, one requirement document, right? where he specify all the things what he had the communication with the client right so he has let's suppose your business analyst created one document where he listed all the things whatever the client need right so first thing this is the root root or resource you can say Right, resource. So, which I have already explained you. What do you mean by the resource? Right, resource means what client want. Client want the employee object. Client want the you know uh, student object. Client want the college object. Right. Client want the you know uh, the loan object. Client want uh, you know. Uh, if you take the example, client, uh, let's go. Let's suppose client want the uh, the flight uh, resource, client want the hotel resource, or client want train resource or buses resource, right? The every time in the real time, requirements comes in bunches, not at a you know all the requirements come in a sort, right? So every time requirements come in uh, bunches, right? So let's suppose now the client requirement is employee, right? So this is my employee object that client want. Now, client want to do the method as a gate. I have already explained you the gate is due to fetch the data and he also expect when the developer, when the developer start creating the web services, 
for this particular object so he has to take care about that the type should be json java script object notation i will explain you in detail what do you mean by the json how it looks like how we can create uh, for now only suppose this is the json type now up to here clear right so client one json object if clients one xml then here the business analyst will pass the xml but in the rest api 99% we are using only json in the soap api in the soap services we are using the xml only not json in the soap section i will explain you the xml right so but in the rest api i am sure 99% company clients using the json type right now your uh, you know your business analyst asking you that this is the root of the url this is the medium right where you can connect the http the protocol and the host url and the resource right so this is the url to connect with your server right and then they will also add what this requirement will do this method will do so they will also add in the description section this particular request will get all the employee data right now in request body section you can see there is not any data it means that to call the get method we don't require the request body right so in the postman i have shown you that this is from here we can select method here we can pass the url and in if you select body and draw here you can pass the request after connecting with the server and getting the response here you can get the response right so do not get confused what is the request and response request we are sending to the server response we are getting from the server right so that is the request body but in the case of get we are not passing the request body now after connecting with the server your business analyst asking you your request looks like same only data would be the different right because every person passing his own data but property should be same status data and employee name right so this is your first story first story in the agile in the uh, sprint your uh, product owner your business analyst create one story for you that this is one requirement go and implement after developer implementing this uh, story it comes to the testing side right now what the testing will do he will look at this document and try to map right now let's try to map so let me clean all this thing right this is the dummy rest api which are also available in the internet right so i have clicked on the plus icon right so first thing very first thing first if you are you know uh, starting from the scratch in the project from the beginning first thing you have to create the workspace create the workspace i have already explained what did you mean by the workspace in the workspace it contain all the requirement all the module section which you are going to implement so i am going to create one workspace that is uh, let me create right so i am going to edit my workspace as a employee project my project name is employee project 
employee project right so i have created this collection right and let me enter so you can see it get added on left hand side here employee object right now what i will do i will add the request inside this collection right now your requirement is first thing the method method is get now select the method get now your requirement is full root is your url is this one you have to pass the url guys i am taking the simple requirement if i take very complex requirement you can't grab the thing right so for now i have taken very simple so in tomorrow or in further classes will take the complex requirement guys can you beat yourself yeah thank you yeah so i have put the url here now json type is json sorry type is json right so that type when i you know uh pass the uh, select the method as a post at that time i have to select the uh, type as a um, json but for in the case of get i have to check whatever the response i will get it should be in the json format not in the xml not in the text right so yeah so our first thing is completed our resource is employee so let pass it here employee right this is your resource or root root means from this from this root we have to go inside and fetch the data right and let me call connect with the server so it's saying contact your destination okay i have used something wrong in the url it is dummy api so that's why i'm getting the error okay that's the problem if i'm taking the you know yeah you can see if i'm taking uh, the example from the internet so uh, no one providing his database to create the data right so anyway so you can see you get the response whatever the object come inside the employee all the data get fetched you can see here right so copy this thing and in the real time where you know i will also explain how you can make the things very easy so go in the google and type json editor to edit the json format we are using the json editor right so go and paste the thing right so you can see you have 174 line of response right and inside that we have three property status data and message right if i click on copy you can see here what are the objects are there right there are 23 object if you go and the postman so you have you can't easily identify you have to scroll everything and you have to collapse the thing after then you can identify how many objects are there how many data are there so that's why i have used json editor so you can also use at your in to make the things easy right so i have pasted here and i have copied and you can see it collapse all the things and so the result right so now so i have mapped the first requirement right and one thing this is in the json format you can see the json here it means it is the json format if it is not in the json format 
then it is a bug then you have to immediately report to the developer right now let's come to the second requirement let me change the name control s so it gets saved let me change the name as a get employee get employee right now our second requirement is my second requirement is fetch the data based on the employee id fetch the data from the database based on the employee id so they have used the root as a employee and id you can see yesterday we have discussion about that one right why you are passing id this all are part of our requirement basically to identify right so now this is my resource and we are using the get method and type is json and this is the full root url we have to use and what this api will do get a single employee data not all the data right so whenever the new tester or you know you are new in the team so when you read this requirement document you can easily understand so when you go to the description section it written there what this api will do basically so here it written that it will get a single employee data not all but if i go to the first section and see what it written here get all employee data right okay no uh vikas i have right. one question who will mm -hmm. create this document in the beginning i have explained you the uh, ba the or product owner will create this mapping okay. and uh, along with the developer okay 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 because they don't have the clear picture of this url right so uh, uh, what developer has which url developer has created actually right so uh, sometimes they are not mentioning the url so in that case you have to coordinate with the developer okay okay so yeah in in some art i have implement uh, i see that uh, uh, my art company i will got the wiki and in mm -hmm. wiki uh, we got the all the things uh, not uh, provided they will not provided this document so uh, i have taken as example it's also like every company having own way to do that sir right so but when you get the basic idea so when you you know L uh, go through that similar thing you can easily grab the things that i yeah, know yeah. this is stuff i have already learned right yeah. so you can easily understand so this is the simple requirement in tomorrow or day after tomorrow classes i will take some more more complex requirement right so you can't easily identify by reading the requirement right this is looks like very simple everyone can do it yeah yeah definitely. right it will be like very simple and easy identify exactly but from we will discuss from basic to advanced right so that's why i have taken the simple after we will take the complex one okay yeah. so you can see in the request body we don't have uh, uh, the body why why if interviewer they will ask you why we don't require the body in the gate call so you can confidently ask him that in the get method we don't have you know need to pass the request body because get method will fetch the data from the database that's why we are not sending we are not uh, you know dumping the data or creating or updating the data that's why we don't require the body right so but we get the response here right now go here and uh, it is use get method right now i have to use the this url okay so let me pass this url here right 
I want to fetch the first object. Actually, this is uh, no dummy REST API, so that's why getting error. So yeah, you can see data get successfully fetch from your database for the employee one. For the employee one. So as a tester, what testing you can do? First thing, you have map your requirement. Second thing, you have to check the requirement, check the response against the requirement, right? So first thing, in the document, it asking the JSON. So you have to verify it is in the JSON format or not. Yes, it is in the JSON format. You can select. See here, right? It is in the JSON. If it display in the XML, it will show the here XML. Right now, the second thing in the document, it mentioned the what are the property you will get. So you have to also verify status. So you have to check status get displayed or not. Yes. Right. And then you have to verify uh, data. Data is there or not. Right. Data inside the data. We have multiple property or not, right? So what are the property? ID, employee name, employee salary, employee age, employee profile get displayed in your response or not. Employee name, employee salary, employee age, employee image. And at the end, you will get the message. Okay, let me add the message also here. You will get the message. Right. So let's suppose if message what not did displayed in your response, right? But in the requirement, it is part of the response. Then you have to immediately contact developer. Hey developer, I am not getting the message in the response. As per the requirement, in the requirement, it mentioned you have to also display the message. So this is the bug. And what would be the bug priority? Bug priority would be the P2 because we are able to fetch the data, but message only not get displayed. At least we are able to do our action. Right, so we can't take as a critical or blocker, but it does not mean the meet the requirement, right? Because message not get displayed. Right, let's suppose in uh, let's suppose employee salary is a part of requirement, but you did not get the employee salary in the response, then it is a critical bug. Why? Because employee salary is the very important property. If employee name not displayed in your response, then it is also a critical. Right. So based on your requirement, based on the situation, you have to communicate with the developer, with your team lead that I am facing this issue. Right. Now, let me shape this control S and get ID, oh. get XY by ID. Okay, because uh, by the way, if the requirement was not for, for that message, but we are getting this message, then it will be a bug or not? Yes, it is a bug because this is not part of requirement and you are displaying the message. Okay, got it. Okay, uh, and so can you everything we have to map with your seat? Yeah, right. even have... if a spelling is mistake, then you have to communicate with your uh, developer that this spelling is mistake. Or let's suppose, let's suppose if employee ID is not inside the data object, it is outside the data object, right? So in that case, you have to also discuss with developer that employee name is not within the data. It is outside the data like message. Right. 
so you have to also contact so we have to also check the format in which format it is written in the requirement yeah uh, vikas i have one question uh, if uh, we found a issue in when we test uh, api how we will report it, it uh, via jira or tax cases or tax excel whatever we use what is the format of this to report we, the bug ha uh, how to report the bug if uh, suppose uh, we test this api and response is uh, in response message is not showing Mm-hmm. So, uh, how we so, report this issue to developer? How, uh, how, what is the format? Yeah, I got you. Got your point. So, generally, uh, right now I don't have uh, Jira in my machine. Uh, I will try to, you know. Yeah, just you just uh, try in Excel or just a simple format. What we tag okay. and what we use this. Mm. Let me. Okay. So. the first thing we have to you know uh, it is a bug right so we have to select the bug in the i think uh, when you are working in jira in the story you have to we have three option as a bug you want to lock as a story as a api <coughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah. if i am not wrong right so so this is your bug right so you have to select the bug option right yes. after that you have to write the description like in simple and short right that in the description you can add uh, let's suppose employee name i am adding the employee name not get displayed in the response Employee name not get displayed in the uh, employee name not get displayed in the response using the get method or or you can write when we try to fetch the data when uh, when <coughs> we try to try to fetch the employee object correct so employee name not get displayed in the response using the get method otherwise if you don't want to use get method right it here so you can use when we try to fetch the employee object right so the description looks like that and then uh, you have to you know uh, one box is there where you have to write all the things right so steps so a step would be right so use the get method get method and url should be this one right url should be this one and whatever we are passing in the postman actually the url and if you uh, having the authorization right so you have to mention there so that developer can reproduce right so can't we and can't then, we attach the screenshot to yeah, the whole page can. instead of yeah. uh, writing everything you know that's the part of the yes, testing as a evidence as a evidence have you to have to attach but yeah. for in jira we have to provide the steps to reproduce as well because sometimes exactly if uh, because there are many cases where developer didn't get the uh, exact issue by viewing the snapshot so it's a good practice if we as a qa team we can provide the steps to reproduce so that he won't call you or text you hey what's the exact uh, steps to reproduce yeah that's the actually good way if you are providing both the thing if you are providing the step so a step to reproduce the issue and if you are also uh, as a evidence you can attach the screenshot or in some of the company uh, you know uh, the steps are complex then they are also attaching the video right so that uh, developer can refer 
right so in the actual result you can uh, mention the let's suppose this is my actual result employee not get displayed in the response using the get method and you can pass the in the block in the code i think in the code we can pass the response this response right uh, sorry i guess your screen is not shared now can you double check now you can see yes yes now we can see. okay so uh, let's suppose employee name was not in the so let's remove it from here right so you can also provide the response right and your expected result what you are expecting right in the expected result you can ask as per the requirement requirement employee name should be displayed in the response and for the actual result you attach the uh, you know screenshot also right for the expected you can also attach the uh, screenshot or you can also attach the document so that you know developer don't waste time to go uh, go into the flashback and check the requirements and all the stuff right so uh, suppose this is my requirement so i will take the screenshot of this one right this uh, screenshot right and also attach in the story so that we have actual result uh, screenshot and expected result screenshot as well so without wasting time they can easily rectify this is a bug this is not a, you know invalid stuff or uh, you know uh, not other stuff this is a bug actually real bug so they can immediately start working on that if you are having the neat and clean you know uh, steps vikash i have a one doubt uh, in my last mm -hmm. project we were using uh, hp alm and jira both big, uh, might be you are aware of that in jira we couldn't uh, link the test cases the failed test cases so we were using alm for showing the failed test cases and for remote uh, for defect related count we are using the jira so if i want to map my test case the failed test case with the with the bug i have raised so how could we do that because in if i am raising a bug yes i can uh, link the story this story is failed but a simple user story can have multiple test cases suppose if we have I a think login for, function uh, in the one mm -hmm. I, I, I think in the one. Jira, I think uh, I, I uh, think uh, we can. Jip fire is test. one. Can map the test cases in? Uh, yeah, we can because uh, there is a plugins available. Like uh, currently, we yeah. are using. X there is Jip fire is one plugin. Jip yeah, fire yeah. and X ray is one plugin. So uh, using that, uh, you can you know um, map your test cases. Actually. Uh, uh, Gfire is very good one um, as compared to the X-ray, but I have not used honestly, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to implement in my project. So it's like the POC work for me. So I'm trying to implement in that one. So uh, I think uh, Gfire is uh, you know good as compared to the X-ray. I think. Okay. Okay. Which one is good? So yeah, Gfire. X-ray. X-ray. Uh, I I have used X-ray, so we can easily map. Uh, but I don't know about the G-file. X-ray or G-file, right? So you can Google it. Okay. These two are the tools where you can also uh, map each and everything, even pass, fail, defect, and all the step, even step-wise. I think, I believe. right and even this thing also i think uh, integrate with your uh, jenkin i think so i don't have idea but i think so right so so the, yeah i was there so uh, this is the how like uh, you can 
create the story in the jira board right now okay, and uh, let's move to the next section that is uh, next requirement now uh, can you mute yourself yeah one question now, because our... i i have yeah. that because you already mm -hmm. fetch uh, you already get the data right but there was the options you can add the assertion you can add the validation point so how we could do that or are we covering later on this part uh, i will cover this will later because uh, first let's clear the manual step how we can map how we can you know get the response after i think this session will cover after one week i hope in the automation testing so i think in the demo classes i have shown you that uh, this is my collection this is one collection right and that collection i want to this is like pre request script and the test where we are writing the java script code actually right to validate yeah. your response right so you have to write the java script code actually in the pre request and the test section so that i will cover i think uh, this topic will comes after i think next to next week right so this is the javascript code first let's and we will uh, understand the javascript and then we'll write the javascript code in the postman okay okay so yeah now our third requirement is uh, to create the post right so what i am trying to do you can see the resource is create in the case of uh, get resource was employ right in the case of uh, post resource can you mute yourself yeah so in the case of resource yeah, sorry in the case of post the resource is create right now and what is the method method is post and this and type is json you can see json and url i have to use this one and in the description what it mention create a new record in the database let's suppose if this thing is not written so can you tell me can you easily identify what this api will do no so that's why we are adding some description about the api what it will do basically it's part of the requirement if it is not written there then you have to immediately contact to the who create the story right you have to ask him that particular employee what the purpose of that one what it basically will do if i hit this api this is your right to ask with the ba or po or what whoever created the story right if it is not there then it is incomplete information then you can ask you can raise this point in the retrospective meeting that i have uh, you know i have uh, work on this story in that story uh, it will not uh, you know uh, describe properly right so that uh, they will take care of that thing actually in next uh, uh, sprint planning or in the next sprint right now in the request body you can see there is some request why because in the post method we are using the request body and the response we are getting this response so let me create i will go and create the select the post here and which url i have to use this url i have to use right and go here and paste it here right now i have to use the body so i have to select body and then raw and i have to pass this thing right now this is not in the xml format you can see this is in the text format right mm -hmm. so while you are connecting with the server you have to make sure if it is in the json right then you have to also select the json 
Right. Let me correct the hierarchy here. Yeah. Bingo. Right. So the client requirement is we have to pass name, salary, employee salary, and age of the employee. Right. So let's suppose I'm creating my employee and my salary is 10,000. Right. So when I call this API, you can see here, we get the status code as a 200 and we get the response. Right. So you can see the ID get generated, the unique ID. Using that unique ID, you can identify. Right. So our next requirement is also get completed. Let me save and post employee. Right. Now, next requirement is, so you have to uh, uh, also verify the response. So whatever the response I have, you know, it get displayed in the response. It should, you know, match with your, match with the requirement. A status so you have to verify a status is there or not data data is there or not yes data is there name salary age and id so all the things are there so you might have question that why this value this value is not here uh, here i am getting vikas and in the requirement it mentioned as a test or salary as a one two three so i think you already have the answer because we are passing some other data in the request, right? So that's why response data is different. So we don't have to something you have to also apply the common sense. You can't match each and every lines and word, right? So you have to, you know, value also get differ. Property would be the same in every case, right? but value may be differ. It's all depends on the request which you are passing to the server. Right, now re next requirement. Uh, Vikas, by the way, that is fine, but why did they mention ID is equal to 25? This I guess taken it... as an example. Okay, okay, go to Okay. Because you can see the person is different, right? So for that particular person, his ID was 25. Because every person having the unique ID, right? So this person ID was 25. If I am using my name, then my ID should be different. Right? Now, we have the update call our next story is update right so our resource is update right so i will go and create one more request and what i have to select here tell me what method i have to select here patch ma'am please read the requirement is that here what, patch is the what, what, what. Put, put call. Right. Put call. So I have to select put. Right. Now my resource, my URL is this one. Right. In the you know in the resource is mentioned that update slash ID. So here you have to pass update and ID. ID. Right. Now body and raw and then here i have not mentioned because this requirement is created by me actually so uh, here you have to also pass the request body and the response right so let me pass this thing let me take this object this whole thing and pass it here right and this is in the text let me change into the json right let me remove the successful tag and remove this one. Now, for this ID, 
right i want to update the salary let's see it's accept or not because it's like dummy api so that's why yeah it get accepted uh because... but it create the yeah yeah Oh, what? I have one question. Like, how do we pass the URI parameters? URI query parameter? Yeah, Ask query me. parameters. Yes. Okay, uh, that I will talk in next class. But let me explain you. So, if you are passing query parameter, right? So, we are using the. You can add here as a key in the param section. In the param section, let's suppose my query parameter is name. right so here you can ask vikas so you can see here when i you know add the key it also get added in the url okay okay let's if your next question would be can we pass the multiple query parameter then yes how we can suppose now my next is salary and salary so salary is so you so can see using and operator it get added the multiple query parameter okay i have another question here like uh, see uh, we are passing the uh, the salary in the body okay and uh, mm -hmm. say for example if i have to speci under parameters if i have to specify the path variable Uh, are you taking this in the next class maybe if so come again come again come again the the path variables path variable this path variable this should ha huh, because uh, see yeah, i yeah that i will say you because uh, currently it is the static data it is okay. not the uh, dynamic data right so okay. let's suppose uh, let's suppose uh, mm, to do the automation testing right in the automation testing every time we require the dynamic data okay. right let's suppose if uh, if uh, data is already exist in your database right okay. and if you are trying to again create with that data it will return the error message duplicate id or some other thing right error message it will give you so in that case you have to write the dynamic data you have to pass the dynamic data at least uh, like uh, for some of the case we don't have required the dynamic uh, data we can play, uh, you know uh, uh, play with the static data it's okay but in some case you have to pass only dynamic data so in that case you are creating the variable mm -hmm. right so after creating the variable you can play with the dynamic data that i will explain you in the automation testing section okay, okay right okay, okay. so if i open here let me open and show you here i have created the dynamic you can see you can see the protocol or host url is mentioned here right mm -hmm. so you might have question i have not mentioned the url so from where it data get fetched right yeah, yeah. so we i have created that. the variable actually okay okay uh, i have created have the question. variable mm -hmm. my question is that why we use the prime uh, 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 like query parameters why we use it um why we use um Mm, suppose, let's suppose. Uh, I think I have already explained by taking the example of uh, you know, uh, make my trip. So this is your resource, the flight. You mm -hmm. come to the resource, but your motto is, your motto is you want to book the flight. You want to you want to see the detail of uh, flight, right? So to see the detail of the flight. you have to apply the value you have to apply the filter right, right. after then it display the data otherwise it not display the data whatever you want actually right, right. suppose if i want from flight from mumbai to uh, you know um, uh, uh, mumbai to punjab right mumbai to punjab 
but i have to also pass the value punjab here after then i will get that particular result right so that is the query parameter what is your query it's simple say the word say what is your query so this is your query i want to go from mumbai to delhi and that query you are entering here okay right the same thing in uh, api okay. side we are using in that way so we were using like we were passing the parameter prem uh, to just make sure yeah. inside uh, the param param inside the param we are passing the value but one thing let me clear in api testing we have to something i can't show you because it's also depends on the company requirement how company having the requirement right if your company is uh, you know if your requirement is asking that in the in the get method in the get method you have to also apply the query query parameter right if your developer implemented that one then you can apply the query parameter because it support because your web service support that query parameter but in some of the project they are not implemented the query parameter right so it does not support suppose this get application does not support so if you write here the name right and some value 1 2 3 and when you hit the api it will return the error message because why why because it does not support because your requirement does not support this feature that's why if your requirement support this feature you can apply the query parameter this is part of the testing then okay uh, because i have a question here so uh, no this i don't know whether what i'm asking is right or not uh, so as we are passing the data through query parameters uh, mm -hmm. and uh, can we pass this uh, um, uh in the body what we have the parameters right means the request parameters can be pass here uh, instead of body and fetch the result with the status code yes madam we can do that if your requirement is asking that we have to pass the uh, you know value in url as a query parameter then you can right oh, if okay. requirement is asking we have to pass the you know we have to filter your result you have to pass inside the body then you can pass and test okay i got it okay. it's all depend on the requirement if oh. your requirement is saying yes you can pass inside the body then you can pass and test if it is get failed then it is a bug okay because thank it's you. not meet your requirement thank you right. I, i'm cleared now yeah thank you so similarly we can i think it's clear for you everyone uh, similarly we can do for update and the delete right it's the same requirement right so in tomorrow classes we'll learn how we can you know uh, uh, how we can uh, some more complexity requirement so let's suppose this thing is not provided by your business analyst this response is not provided by your business analyst how you can identify by using the data type and all the stuff so in tomorrow classes i will try to explain you the json type json what is json and what are the types of the json and the json object and the json array and how json validating your response right so uh, that's it sorry that's it guys uh, because Gosh, uh, we need yeah. to practice yeah. that thing so like how we can practice that uh, okay. until if so we don't have the do notes and stuff like that let me do one thing so everyone please open the cmd yeah open your cmd I am using Mac. I'm using my MacBook. You can open your terminal. Okay. Please open the uh, CMD in your machine. 
please let me know what you have opened your pm uh, vikas run as admin or normal normal you can do it or admin is could be better okay I am on my terminal. So, with you. okay, no problem. So, what I am trying to do, because uh, have you seen? I have taken the example of you know I have taken uh, from Google. I have taken the dummy REST API, but uh, you have seen that when I am calling, sometimes I am getting the error. It's not properly working. It's not allowed to dump the data. Even no one allowed to dump his dump the data in his database, right? So. that's why i am creating this json server in your machine to play with the data right so yeah there is some uh, something you can't do that but i will try to achieve all because this is not the you know actual uh, designing uh, this is like the dummy json server in your machine they are not all the validation and not follow all the protocols right so but at least i will try to achieve all right so i think everyone open his uh, you know uh, cmd now go and type this command npm install minus g json server let me uh, drop the message in the group drop the message in the group you can copy the message from the group you can copy the message from the group okay hi vikash for me it's no. showing npm is not recognized as an internal or external command Is everyone getting same? Okay. Yeah, same okay. Okay. NPM is not installed in your system. Okay. Then try to install the NPM. Oh man. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think you have to install the first Node, Node, right? Node JS. And then uh, Node JS. And then you have uh, by default uh, NPM will get installed. After then you can, uh, uh, you know, install this command. So. Uh, so Vikas, why you don't do that? If you can just send the installation step, then we can do the installation by ourselves. Okay, let me do that. So I am sending you the link, right? This is the uh, the link where you can, right? so i have sent you the link in the group and uh, you can go and install the window installer if you are mac then install the mac installer right so this will install the node in your machine basically right after installing the node after installing the node go and type when node get installed in your machine successfully go and type node Minus V, so it will show the version. In my machine, fourteen point one five point four. So let me send this command to you. Node after installing the node after installing the node node JS node JS sorry. Yes. We have to write this command. Uh, what the command is? Uh, yeah, node minus v. Node minus v. Right. After, if you get the version, right. So it means that we have successfully installed. After then, you can type npm minus v. so oh, it will show the npm version so in, in my machine 6.14.10 right so you can type npm minus v after then you can try to install the 
uh, JSON server, which I have already sent you the command, this command. Right, install the JSON server. Let me. Install the web service. Uh, you have to use this command npm install minus g server and it will create one db.json file in your this particular folder. Uh, you know, C user and your directory in this directory, right? And then to start the server, you have to use json server minus manage watch db.json. So you have to use this command to start the server. Right. right, this will start the server. So please do it at your in, try to install, first thing, try to install node. After then you have to verify the node version. How do you can verify? Node minus V. After then check the NPM version, NPM minus V. After then, you can install the you know json server in your machine using npm install minus g server when your server get created then start the server json server minus minus watch db dot json and then you can play around the test case play around with the api without starting your server it will return the error message be remember you have to start your server uh, because uh, every time we start the server, every right? time, yeah, yeah, you don't have to install the server after I, first time setup. You have to every time uh, start the server only, not install. Okay, okay. And the root directory okay. will be uh, anything, anywhere we install the JSON server, X, C, D, E, any directory. Sorry, come again. Uh, it is not necessary that we install the JSON server in C directory. We will install anywhere like on desktop yeah, or Yeah, but D for that uh, we can use that particular hierarchy path. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. You have we to install. take care of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's it guys. Uh, this is, uh, take it as a homework. Uh, install the that's why I was not explaining this will take like one full classes right so that's why I'm um, was you know in my mind tomorrow I will explain this stuff so uh, no worry so you can try it at your end install node and npm and uh, the JSON server if you face any problem please write it down right we can discuss tomorrow and please join earlier if you have any issue then we can join earlier and we can clear the dots, right? And one thing here, uh, please make the payment. I have uh, not received the payment yet, so please make the payment. Right, already like four classes already left, so please do that on priority, okay? Uh, did you have any queries or Hello. Okay, guys, thank you. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Have a nice day. Okay, bye, Vikas. Thank you. Bye.